everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming with a requested video and it will be all about embossing folders. Embossing folders are an amazing tool for crafters. They can allow us to add beautiful textured images and patterns to our backgrounds. And today I'm going to show you a few tricks and tips what you can do and also put here some basics about embossing folders and machine you can use for that. I hope you will enjoy this video and I hope you will find some amazing tips how you can use it. Embossing folders comes in a variety of sizes and also in with so many different uh, images, pattern, textures. Uh, they can be very small like this one, they can be tall like this. The most common size is probably A5 size and you can find there so many beautiful backgrounds or images in your embossing folder. They uh, are also in the larger size and then they can be, these are basic file folders, embossing folders and you can also find uh, a 3D embossing folders which uh, makes such a beautiful embossing effect depends of thickness like this one it's kind of like a base embossing folder but it depends of thickness you will need to use uh, different plates in your embossing machine about embossing machine i'm gonna talk a little bit later i'm just gonna show you also uh, another type of embossing folders that's these these can cut and emboss at the same time they are wonderful you will get in the end from your card strips like this, as you can see on the picture. Here from this one, you will get, I just lost it. You will get the wings like this, look at them. Really beautiful embossed effect and they, uh, it's cutting exactly the image you can see here. So embossed and cut at the same time. And sometimes you can even find collections. Uh, I do have here one of the old collections from Sizzix. You will find in this collection four embossing folders in different sizes. But they do have something together. They do have same theme on that embossed effect. Or you can find collection of the embossing folder together with some dies. Which can create beautiful art uh, putting all together. This is from Tim Holtz and it's about 4th of July. So these can go together, you can create beautiful card with that theme. Or you can find embossing folder like this, where you have additional die, which can cut the embossed effect. So as I do have here, this is also from Sizzix. This amazing tool can help you to change ordinary cardstock, like here, to some beautiful art. And you can add there many colors and decorations. It can help you to also change acetate pieces in amazing art. You can use the same folder to create different uh, results. Like here, here I used the uh, same folder on once on acetate and I created this beautiful effect on acetate. Here I use it on a card and I do have beautiful frame after embossing the pattern. I just used my scissors and I fussy cut out the pattern itself and it looks amazing some of the uh, embossing folders they can be used either way i mean uh, depends which side of the pattern which will be embossed you like more you can use it it doesn't work with uh, embossing folders which has some writing like is this one this embossing folder from that collection i showed you has uh, letters here and if you will have it opposite way you will have uh, reversed the, those letters so it doesn't work on uh, all embossing folders but most embossing folders you can use either way even this one is beautiful and if, if i will spend the time and color it it will be amazing but i choose this side where the flowers are raised up here and i choose to create this as my main card you can also use those embossing folders not just on paper, also for acetate or for fabric. Here you can see I use it also for leather and I use it also for leather here. You will see that in that 
uh, video. So uh, you can really go wild with your imagination. Just remember some of the materials have to be have to be treated before embossing. I will talk about it in the video. Uh, you can also use ordinary things uh, like a trash, like this toilet paper roll, in some beautiful art. Here I used kitchen, uh, empty kitchen roll, and I created this amazing pocket. And here in this Christmas journal, I did use toilet paper rolls, and I do have video for that. And I did use my embossing folders, and I have created these gorgeous embossed pieces, these gorgeous embossed frames using toilet paper roll and my embossing folders. And once you do have your card embossed and coated with some colors and embellished with some little embellishments, you can use it as decoration on your notepads. Here I do have small file folder with embossed frame on the top. And here I do have just ordinary notepad and I used on the top my embossed card and embossed acetate piece. It's just like little decoration. So in the video, I will show you a few tips what you can do. For making embossing effect on the material you will choose, you need some machine. This is Sizzix uh, Big, Shot, Big Shot Plus. And it's in a larger size. I never used anything else than Sizzix Big Shot. Before I had a little bit smaller one, but then uh, they released this large one and I bought that. And since I've got this machine, I'm not using anything else. I never tried anything else because this machine can do everything I need. And I'm very happy with that. You can find many different sizes uh, from many different uh, companies. Go to have a look. They are uh, Some of them are machines you have to handle with your hands and some of them are electrical you will just push the button and it will do everything itself it will run the plates through the machine this machine comes with two basic adapters one this pink one it's for embossing and the other one supposed to have greenery picture like this and it's for die cutting mine is a really loved machine so i use it really hardly but it still works and then it comes with these uh, kind of like clear plates even mine are very used so now they are not clear anymore and with uh, the embossing folder of your choice you will also adapt the thickness of your layers and i'm gonna show you what that means i do have here these three embossing folders. These two are based embossing folders, 2D if you will. This is 3D embossing folder. Even these are base embossing folders. This one it's pretty thin and this because it's double-sided embossing folder so you can emboss either way. Here this pattern or here this pattern. It's from a little bit thicker material and I will need to adjust the thickness of my plates and this one that 3d one it's the most thicker uh, embossing folder so i will need to adjust those plates even more i do have here i do have here normal paper very light paper three because i do have three embossing folders i do have here three tags which are made from 160 maybe 200 gsm paper and I do have here folded, flatted, three toilet paper rolls, which are really thick. On this, I'm going to show you also how to adjust the embossing. And in the end, I will also show you some tips and tricks. We're going to start with this uh, light paper. And I'm going to start with this base embossing folder. Just place your material. You can use paper acetate piece you can use baking paper which does make really beautiful effects and because this is really thin i can use embossing adapter i can use plate this clear plate as a base place my embossing folder and place another plate clear plate on the top and now i can run the embossing folder through and because i can feel pressure I know it will be embossed and 
here we are look at that beauty it's really gorgeous it's immediately makes this paper very beautiful like piece of art if i will want to use this i'm gonna place my tag into my embossing folder and it's a little bit thicker material but i do believe i can still run it through here it will need a little bit more work from my side but i can can still run it through and in the end we do have a really beautiful tag and if i will want to use the same file folder embossing folder on this thick uh, toilet paper roll <laughs> i forgot <laughs> toilet paper roll i think here i will need to take off that pink i'm not sure but we will see yeah and here you will you will feel really big pressure do not ruin your machine if you will feel big pressure it's better if you will take off that thinnest adapter that for that embossing leave these two clear plates and try it again and it's much much better i can feel that it's pressing that embossing folder so there will be embossed effect and i didn't ruin my machine and we do have this beauty same it will be with this embossing folder i'm gonna put back that adapter for embossing and I do believe if I will place there this uh, thin paper, I think I am able to run, run it through. Oh, no. See? Here, because it's from thicker material. I forgot I didn't use it for a long time. So, because it's from thicker material, the embossing folder, I need to immediately take off that pink adapter and now I can run it through and I do have beautifully embossed this piece of paper with the tag it will be hopefully same We will try. Yeah, I can feel like bigger pressure. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna adapt my plates. So I do have that, that pink one and it didn't get the pressure I needed. So I'm always having these old envelopes uh, on the side just in case I will need something uh, to reinforce the pressure but uh, what will give me a little bit of thickness but less than it's this second clear uh, plate and now i can try we do have embossed tag and i do believe with this thick uh, toilet paper roll i will have to do exactly same i will need to place the adapter down maybe a few of these and i will try if the thickness will be enough or if it will be too much too small and we do have nicely embossed toilet paper roll which can be used for making pockets uh, envelopes frames 
with the 3D embossing folders from Tim Holtz uh, from Sizzix, I'm always using just the base, this thick base, and one of these clear plates uh, that showed me always that it's just exactly what the embossing folder needs and that I'm not gonna ruin my embossing machine. And here, how it looks like on thin paper. Tack. And toilet paper roll. Beautiful embossed effect. You can always emboss just a part of paper. Here I'm going to be using leftover from envelope I used in my journals. And uh, let's say I would like to emboss just the corner, kind of like uh, make uh, distressed embossing. I'm going to be using some nice pattern for that. Like this uh, Sizzix embossing folder. It does have beautiful pattern. So I'm going to place my envelope and my embossing folder. I'm going to place here embossing adapter. Because envelope it's from thin material. I know I can use that embossing adapter. And I can use both of these clear, uh, clear plates. I'm going to put my embossing folder this way which means when it goes to my embossing machine it goes from here and depends where I stop or when I will stop turn through it will stop embossing effect so I'm gonna run a little bit but here I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna run back and I should have embossed this part we will see Look at that. So you can do just part of your image, of your paper, of your fabric. Just do a piece and then let it uh, be plain. And I do believe if you will use some stamps and stencils and some embellishments, you will create amazing art. You can add colors into your uh, embossing creation. And there is few different ways how to do it. First, you can distress or color uh, the paper, the fabric you have and then emboss it. I do have here already that embossed effect but I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna be using some distress ink and distress that rest. I do have here this beautiful frosty jade uh, distress ink from Spectrum Noir and I'm gonna use it on all this. It's very soft color And once you start to distress the parts where there is already embossing effect, it will catch the most of that ink. I had to swap my tool just because this uh, color, it's very fine, very uh, kind of like uh, soft. So it was <laughs> kind of invisible with brush. I do have distress with this one. I do have here this beautiful uh, embossing folder from... Oh, Tetrad Lace, yeah, from Tetrad Lace so with Happy Holiday sign. Uh, this is that the debossed size uh, side of my embossing folder, which I will see, uh, kind of like this, what I will see on the top later. I'm going to be using some darker color here. What color? It's green. Hmm. Darker green, I would say. Do you have here this one, green topaz? Maybe that could be the thing. And I'm going to add this darker green into this debossed side of my embossing folder. Place my embossing folder around the envelope. I think this way. And I run it through to my embossing machine. And we do have embossed my... <laughs> I didn't apply the ink here too much, but I do have beautifully embossed Happy Holidays with the darker green around, with the lighter green inside because this was already distressed. 
so that color it shows here a little bit it's not white like this one it's a little bit green and it does make a beautiful effect there is also other way how you can apply the ink um, into your embossing folder you can open that embossing folder this is what i will see after embossing on the top so this side i wanna make colorful i'm gonna take same inks and i'm gonna take brayer and with the brayer i'm gonna apply a little bit of that ink i will try to do nice coat of that ink Probably this one will be not that much visible as it's really soft. I will see. And now that other one. Now place my envelope here and i'm gonna run it through to my machine and we do have that soft color here on the top with that going to the darker color here on the bottom and as you can see it did embossed also the acetate piece which is in this cd cover so i do have a little bit of that embossing on that cover as well you can also use uh, different types of colors to make uh, your embossing effect in the end more bright and more colorful and interesting i'm gonna show you how easy it is to apply colors uh, for base coloring i do have here 3d embossing folder and uh, normal embossing folder 2d and i'm gonna use uh, distress ink to show you how easy it is to make colorful embossing effect and this is actually embossing folder you can use both ways and i'm gonna show you that i'm gonna add the color to both sides And I'm going to be using just white tack and show you how it looks like from both sides. And we do have embossed stars or debossed stars here. And here we do have embossed stars with the full color in the background. Here we do have color inside in those stars. Same technique you can use on that 3D embossing folder. Here I do have green color. And as this is 3D, there will be just part of that pattern uh, color, color it with that ink. Some of the embossed pattern will be without ink at all, but it will be embossed. So here you can see we do have color just here and there on some places that was from the side where i can feel every single leaf on this and from the side where the pattern is pushed inside in that plastic it looks like this so these are embossing folders you can use either way just choose the side you will like the more you can add to this embossing also another color don't forget always clean your uh, embossing folders. Uh, as you can see here on my on my 3D embossing folder, it also depends of what kind of color you would like to use. Uh, I tried to use here waxes and the waxes got stuck in my embossing folder. So my embossing folder is colored for forever, I guess. But this was distress ink and the distress ink, you just need to wipe it off. As I said, you can add even more colors into your already colorful embossing. Uh, I'm going to be distressing the edges with a seal brown color from same company, from Spectrum Noir. And I'm going to just add the shades into edges. But then I can also use pencils and 
uh, maybe markers, watercolors, to add there even more colors. I can always add uh, even more of this brown ink just by grab the full ink pad and just slide it over it and it will take those the higher uh, places which are embossed and it will color only those higher places same it will be here just very light hand just slide it over And if you would like to have there a little bit different colors, just grab your pencils or maybe watercolors. Here I do have watercolor pencils, so I can start to add there even more colors. And I'm going to start here. I do have here this beautiful lilac color. To add that, that watercolor effect I do have here this brush with water inside and I'm just gonna add a little bit of water into my drawing and let it sit For the stars, I'm going to be using this beautiful uh, wax from Prima Marketing. This is vintage silk. I did receive this wax a long, long time ago from my amazing friend, Evie. Thank you so much, Evie. These waxes are awesome. They still smell so beautifully and they are amazing. And I do have them for many years, actually. So don't be afraid to buy something like this because that can go really long, long way. And I'm using these waxes not every single time when I'm crafting, but quite often, I have to say, and they still work like a magic. So just a very light hand. Go over the pattern and add a little bit of shine. And I hope you will be able to see that beautiful shine those stars got from that wax. And I have added a little bit of wax into this, uh, that opposite side of that embossing uh, effect here where I used those watercolors. And I did use again a Prima Marketing wax. This is called Lucky Emerald. Look at that nice name and beautiful color and you will add beautiful shine into your embossing effect really beautiful uh, embossing effect you can get if you will use a uh, cardstock which has two colors like maybe this one i'm gonna grab that black one straight away because that will be most visible it has black color from one side white color from other side and if i will try to emboss this I will get beautiful card and now I can try to use sanding block on this one. Sanding paper or any sanding tool, even nail file, will help you to get rid of, of the black color from the embossed pieces. You just need to be very careful, do not uh, emboss, uh, do not sand too much that can destroy your card but if you will go very slightly you can finish with really beautiful embossed card which help us have this kind of like vintage effect on it another really cool effect you can do with your embossing folders here i'm gonna take one which you can't use in a reverse just because it does have writing and it always have to be the right way. Well, you can do, <laughs> you can use it the opposite way, but you will have the writing uh, in a reverse. So here I'm going to be using the black cardstock. 
I'm gonna cut the piece I need. Now on the other side, which I would, would like to see, which is this one where the writing is the right way, I'm gonna be using embossing ink. And I'm gonna apply my embossing ink to this side. I'm gonna add there my cardstock, run it through to my machine. Right now it's not much visible, the embossed effect is slightly uh, lighter color and it's just because that uh, the debossed is covered with my ink. And I'm gonna be using here a uh, clear embossing powder. I'm just gonna slide it in, cover everything where the embossing ink is. And now I'm gonna use my heating tool. Now I do have embossed everything around in the background just <clears throat> with embossing powder and embossed with embossing folder the image itself. You can always use different type of uh, embossing powder and make it in different colors here. I just wanted to show you how it looks like with clear embossing powder. You can also stamp uh, into your embossing folder before you will do embossing effect on your cardstock. Always choose for stamping the side which you will actually see in the end on the top of your card, which for me it's this one where the images are debossed inside. They are pushed inside into this plastic and I can see all these holes. This side has all these images that raised up so I'm gonna be stamping here and my stamping will be between uh, these embossed images. For this te technique it's better to use some uh, non-writing, which means no letters, no numbers uh, image. I'm gonna be choosing this beautiful background from Viva Decor, this brick, because I think it will go nicely together with, oops, with the florals. Of with the, the, all that floral stuff and for stamping uh, I'm gonna be using black ink I guess And maybe you will don't see it straight away, your stamping. You just need to trust into that process. Transfer the image into embossing folder. And go stamp again next to that first one if you would like to cover a full of your embossing folder. I'm gonna take another tack, place it here, close and embossed, and we will see. And I do have those bricks just between my flowers. First, what I will do, I'm gonna grab a brush and seal brown because I am in that vintage style more than in the clear style. And I'm gonna distress all that tack with the brown color. Just to rise up a little bit those flowers. 
and add also a little bit of that brown to that background. And of course I can use my uh, watercolor pencils and add a little bit of color to those flowers if I will want so. Here is how it looks like now when I do have distressed those embossed flowers. And here if you will add just a little bit of color I used my watercolor pencils and my water brush to, to do so. It's very easy and it's very enjoyable easy craft i do have bricks in the background maybe i should add a little bit more of ink to my bricks but i'm very happy with this result i do have stamping between embossing so this is another way how you can use your embossing folders you can also emboss uh, fabric or leather if you want to emboss fabric or leather, you need to prepare these materials for embossing effect to make sure that the embossed effect will stay on on these materials. They are pretty much soft. Uh, I do have here same piece of fabric I do have here embossed already. If I will try to run this one uh, with my embossing folder through the embossing machine, in the end I will have there a little bit. I may will show you the difference. I'm gonna add a piece of fabric into my embossing folder, run it through. And we do have some embossing, but in the time this embossing will fade. It will don't hold the shape, it will get flatter. Here I do have same fabric like this one. I just treated that fabric with the glue. Place your fabric on some non-sticky paper. Use PVA glue. Spread the glue into that fabric. I think I added too much. <laughs> You don't need that much, just nice amount, not too thick, it's uh, it's not necessary. You just need to add a little bit of that glue and wipe it on your fabric. Here I do have really too much, <laughs> I was very generous here. So wipe the glue onto your fabric, place it on the side and let it dry. And once it's dried, it will be much more thicker and stronger. Then place it to your embossing folder and run it through to your machine. And here we are. Look at this. And here is the one I made few minutes ago and it's already fading so this is the difference on embossing fabric which is uh, pre-treated with the glue and this it's normal fabric you do have there a little of embossing but this is much much better so that way you can emboss fabric and here I do have also a piece of leather and I did embossed leather many times. Depends on the thickness of the leather. This is from old suitcase. It was already treated with the glue once it was applied on that suitcase. Uh, so it does have nice thickness. I can feel it. Uh, I can also saw here and there <laughs> leftovers from that glue. But it was also treated on the top with all kind of waxes. So this uh, leather will hold embossing nicely. And also it's not too thick so I know uh, I can run it through to my embossing machine without any issues if it will be thicker I will have to adjust those plates and it maybe will don't hold for a long time my embossing and here 
we do have a result. So that way you can also emboss your fabric and leather. These were just a few tips and tricks what you can do with your embossing folders from the base embossing, just plain embossing uh, effect, which can make amazing uh, art already now to colorful or more colorful <laughs> little art pieces. You can always add some labels and mini tags. You can always add to your embossing some embellishments to make it your way, to make it beautiful the way you want. Uh, it's always about how you feel. Embossing folders are awesome tools which I really like because they help me to change those ordinary things into some art. This is from Toilet Paper Roll actually uh, and uh, I just love it. Uh, I really love embossing folders. They are awesome tool. I hope you found some inspiration, maybe some uh, trick tricks <laughs> and tips what you can do. Here is a piece of leather. I think I did show it in the start which I changed into this you know embossed leather which i changed uh, into a little mini notepad and here i actually embossed leather first and then i embossed brown cardstock and i glued these two together after they were embossed so i do have embossing effect from both sides and it looks amazing i just love it and on that leather i did use those waxes just to pop up a little bit of that uh, embossing effect. So this is my sharing for today. It's two days before New Year and I wish you all beautiful time. I hope 2023 was kind to you and you were a good time. And I really wish the year 2024 will be amazing, will make you happy, uh, will make you maybe fall in love and will make you take adventures just enjoy every single minute because we never know how long time we will be on the earth try to get stressed as much less as it possible it's hard time sometimes and just enjoy your life be kind to yourself and i hope we will see each other in the 2024 if you like this video if you find it helpful please give it thumbs up and help me to bring more people to see what i'm doing here thank you so much for that have a wonderful time enjoy yourself and i will see you soon